you. Hello everyone, I am Jack the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to Ragecraft 3. So, first things first, you might be wondering, Jack, where are you? Well, I'm in the Nexus. Why am I in the Nexus? Because I forgot to show off this thing I discovered a long, long time ago, and then got distracted by other stuff. Um, but before we go up there, first things first, I wanted to give a shout out to two of my subscribers, um, Janie Burks and Coco Chen. Uh, thank you so much for um, leaving all the comments. Um, I really appreciate them. I really like responding to them. Um, especially thank you to Coco Chen for pointing out that this exists. Um, so previously, if you were down in the room, you would find some cracked brick. You could bust it open. You'd find a ladder. And up on the ladder, you would find the Eye of Sech, which actually is an item that we saw in Ragecraft 2. Um, it acts like a telescope in the regards that it just makes the camera zoom in a bunch because it gives you like negative a thousand speed. So you can't, you can look at, you can use it to look at stuff, but that's really about it. So thanks a bunch. Uh, thanks for reminding me that that is over there. Um, and thanks a bunch for leaving all the comments. Um, also anyone else who wishes to comment, I try to respond to every single comment. Um, so if you see something, notice something, just want to say hi, uh, leave a comment. I will respond to it. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go down to intersection 2 and begin the next area. Alright, here we are back at intersection 2. So as per the recommended order book, uh, the last mines is where we need to go. So right, meow where. So this is the area that we're going to explore next. Now I have not investigated any areas I did not peek my head in. Um, sometimes I do like to kind of like look around and try to see what's in each area before we enter it as just kind of like a teaser like ooh what can we expect um except Talisio has been known to teleport you if you walk too close to something so um to make sure that we don't get teleported anywhere weird uh, i figure we're just going to go into each area blind is that lapis lazuli or is it water that is a good question what do i use lapis for enchanting probably i don't have an enchanting table so i don't care um, so yeah. Hello, zombie. Zombie, zombie. You're dead. Okay, let's see what this says. Behold! Behold! Behold it. Behold. Behold, you have entered the kingdom of the mighty dwarves. Oh no, I hate the dwarves. <clears throat> we are strong, we are fearless, and we are proud. Do not call us gnomes or goblins just because we are green. We are dwarves! Not gnomes, not goblins, and certainly not goddamn midgets. We are strong, we are proud, we are the dwarves. I, I don't know what you're getting at here. Are you, are you, are you dwarves? Or can I call you, can I call you gnomes? Would gnomes be appropriate? Don't blow up. We just started. We've been here not but a minute. Ouch. And already you are doing the explosion thing. I don't like it. Don't appreciate it. Gargantua. So it's spoilers. Oh good, we're back to the gnomes. This reminds me of Little Kingdom, an area which I did not do super great on when I first showed up at it. Okay, um, thankfully this time we are tackling Little Kingdom with a lofty jump, so hopefully things will go better. Um, I have no clue what's behind me, so that is a problem. I'm gonna get like knocked around here in like two seconds. I just want to put down torches, darn you. I just want to stop the spawns. There we go. The horrible, horrible spawns. Yeah. I don't know. The dwarfs weren't super duper explicitly bad. Not that I remember. Well, there's a couple of annoying ones that are probably going to show up. Also creepers. Oh, nope. Dwarves are already annoying. Get out of here. Stop it. You are so annoying. I don't want to deal with you. Finally, we did it. It only took two bars of hunger, but we managed to pull out ahead. Somehow. Creeper? No. I need to find out where that spawner is. So yeah, otherwise things are great. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Efficiency, one fortune. I do want a fortune pick. Splash potion of stasis. I already got the slow potion, or the slow trap. I don't need that. I'm considering just trashing all of our good potions. Um, 
Wait, no, that's not a that's not an accurate statement. I'm considering trashing all of our offensive potions because they're just taking up room. But then again, I do like hello potato. I do like hoarding things, but it's coming to the point where I'm running out of room for all the potions, and I'm already starting to leave them all behind anyway. So it's like it doesn't even murder. It doesn't even murder. Murder. What are you? You're the creepers. I want to figure out where there's hello. I want to figure out where those creepers are coming from, because I do not wish to deal with them ever. Hello, you. Oh, wait. Nailed it. I did it. And anything you say is wrong. Unless you said that I did well about that, because then you could be right. I would consider you being correct if it's to praise me. Because I need the praise. Validate me. Validation. Ah yeah. Ah yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Something. I probably don't need any of this. That is really good though. Ooh. Hmm. I don't need it. I do need the iron sword though. Ouch. You're not a dwarf. You're just a normal zombie wearing armor. You're giving the dwarfs a bad name. Soon I'm just gonna say that all these dwarfs are just small zombies. And then how mad would they be? They'd be pretty mad, I tell you what. I tell you what. Is that a spawner? It is! We have found the thing. Here we are. We have found the thing. I really don't know. I'm kind of... I'm in a... I'm in a narrating slump. I just don't know what to say. Or... well... No, that's, that's, that's pretty accurate. I, I usually... I, I don't come into here having things to say. Here, one second. I have, so did you know that um, Facebook, if you have Facebook up and it's someone's birthday, it will like send a notification that'll just sit on your screen for an indefinite amount of time. I just found that out right now, because it's my friend's birthday. Say happy birthday to him in the comments. I'm not going to tell you anything about him because I don't know if he wants to offer up that information, but ooh, a cookie. if you want to say happy birthday to my friend, feel free to say so in the comments below. He will be very appreciative, or at least... I'm sure he will be after I tell him that everyone has said happy birthday in the comments. You know what? In fact, even if you haven't said it in the comments, I'm just going to assume that you have, because it's the polite thing to do. Why would you not say hello to my... wait. Why would you not say happy birthday to my friend? That seems pretty inconsiderate. You should feel bad for not commenting. That's how you should feel about it. I want to go over here, because I've decided that wherever we were going over there is no longer important. Also, I have no clue the structure of this area, and this looks interesting. So we're going to go in the mines. It seems like this area actually can... It has the potential to be a very large area. No! Rude. I still don't know where all these creepers are spawning from. But the fact that you got two shot makes me happy. Ooh, gold! I need this gold. I need it for experiments. Hey, I see you. Haha! <laughs> I did that as I wanted it to do. What? I don't know why, but I saw that and I got a weird vibe from it. And I, as it was in the process of like breaking apart, I was like, "What are the odds that that's gonna be a trap spawner?" Now they know that that's a thing. By the way, I didn't know when I. Oh, hello. Observational skills are the best. Observational. Um, I did not consider the spawner trap. Um, in well, I no. Oh, it's these guys. Are. Well, this this certainly worked out in my favor somehow. That was kind of dangerous. Please stop. Everyone, please don't do what you're doing. There we go. I feel better about my position in life now. <laughs> now that everything has gone away. Why are you spawning so much? You need to just knock it off or something. Is this the spawner that you're all spawning from? Are there hidden creeper spawners somewhere? It's very plausible. <laughs> okay. We need torches. We need to figure out the torch technology here. That is not a creeper spawner. Felicia, why would you make hidden creeper spawners? That seems like a awfully inconsiderate thing to do. What's that? 
<laughs> Knockback. There appear to be a lot of hidden spawners, or at least things are spawning in a way that I don't like them. <laughs> Arcane Strike is good. Yeah, also, I don't know if I'll ever pick up Arcane Strike 2. Eh, I might. I might once we get every other upgrade that I could think of that would actually be useful. Also, Coco or... I can't remember. Coco... Yeah, Coco Chen. I was trying to remember the where the H goes. I was going to say Choco Ken. Choco Ken would actually be kind of a cool name, too. I think it could be like a Chocobo. Cho Choco Choco Choco. Anyway. Um, Choco Chen pointed out that the... Whoops. Ah, the shield ability is actually really good. So that is definitely now much higher on my list. Um, and, he, and he brought up a good point, which I had considered but decided not to pick up right now, which is the fact that the shield is always going to be, like, an extra two hit points. Whereas a lot of things are situational, there's a lot of, like, oh, if you, if you kill something, then this happens. There's a lot of abilities that function like that, whereas the shield is just always going to be, you have two extra hit points. And I was like, yeah, that's a good point. Is That's just two extra hit points that if you run into some amount of trouble, you're going to be better off. Also, knockback are great against these guys. If something horrible happens, I'll have to remember that knockback is the best way to deal with these whatchamadoodles. Ah, TNT. Just what I wanted. A diamond headpiece. That would be great if I didn't care. Wait. Step back. That would be great if I didn't have this unbreakable face that gives me jump. Where are you all spawning from? You guys are awful. That's the only thing I don't like about starting a new area is I don't understand the mechanics of the area. Um, oh, also, um, Janie? Jenny? Tell me if I'm pronouncing that right. Like, how? What? Where does the emphasis go on that? Uh, Janie Burks. Um, she brought up an interesting point, which is, you know, it, do you feel that Ragecraft 3 is easier than Ragecraft 2? Um, and I would say not necessarily. I feel like so far what we've experienced seems to be pretty similar to what I experienced in Ragecraft 2 in terms of difficulty for the area. Now, I can't say for absolute certain um, whether or not it's, it's easier or difficult, more difficult, because some of the areas were out of order. Um, specifically, the fact that we did what would have been the Ninja Academy from Ragecraft 2, like as the, what was that, the third dungeon? Um, the fact that that showed up so early um, just gives like a different perspective of the area. Uh, something else to keep in mind, too, um, and something that I pointed out in uh, my response to her comment. Also, I think that's spawning people. So I need to knock that off. Um, actually, what if I do this? Um, also, something to keep in mind is that... No! No! What if I do that? It'll just stop, right? Um, something else to keep in mind is that I have played Ragecraft 2. So, because I've played Ragecraft 2, I, to a degree, know what to expect. Okay, that's broken, thank goodness. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, I am a total expert now on Ragecraft now that I've played Ragecraft 2. But when you play a map, something to keep in mind is that if you play a map by the same person, they do things kind of similar throughout. Or, or not necessarily similar, but they have certain trends that they like to go towards. Um, now I can't think of any in, sp in particular. I mean, it, one direct example, or like one example that we could think of right here, is the fact that this area could be considered another version of the Little Empire. So I know that this area, you know, because it has a similar sort of structure, you know, we're dealing with dwarves. So I know that there's going to be, you know, a couple things going on here. Uh, when we did Little Kingdom before... Oh, so this is where all the creepers are coming from. So I know that this area is going to be populated by baby zombies. Um, and these baby zombies are all going to have different attributes that I have to be careful of. Um, for example, some of the baby zombies are going to, uh, you know, 
have, you know, really high durability. Some of them are probably going to have, like, you know, the uh, knockback fire weapon. Um, I can be on the lookout for that. Um, I already know how to deal with the potion dudes because I saw them in Ragecraft 2. You know, the fact that you can kill them, but make sure to knock them away because when they die, they drop a potion on death. It, it's that sort of thing that's like I have pre existing knowledge of that, so I'm not necessarily going into a lot of the areas blind as I did in Ragecraft 2. The other thing to consider is that I have gotten. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but I have gotten better at uh, CTMs. So, because <laughs> if you go back to Ragecraft 2, especially Ragecraft 2 episode, whatever the equivalent to this episode is in that other one, it's just going to be staggering. I didn't know how to talk at all. Well, actually, that hasn't changed. I still don't know how to talk at all. But it was worse, and I was just so bad at things. I just didn't pay attention to anything at all. Kind of like how I am now. This is a really big mining area. I also got super distracted, like, all the time. Hey, I wonder what's over here. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I want to get all this gold at some point. No, no, it's happening again. The cycle is unbroken. Or the cycle is... This... It, yes. The, ah. That was very fortunate for me. Hello, Erndermen. How are you today, Ermin? Hello, creeper. I haven't been focusing on my bow as much. I think that's just a product of... Well, that's just a gradual change. I've used to... Ooh. Okay, how are you trapped? What is the trap here? Because I know there is one. I'm just going to trigger it anyway. There is no trap. I'm going to eat those words here in like two seconds. Ah! Ah! What did I get? What did I get? Sharpness, fire aspect, knockback, unbreaking, 20% max health, 5 damage. Hmm. Dare I use it? I think it's interesting that... Ooh, look, my max health. Ooh, and my regen effect. I forgot. I haven't been noticing it. Which actually, I suppose, means that it's been doing its job right. The fact that it it's just been working as a passive. I'm out of turges. Well, let's see if we can tackle the rest of this area. Um, we're not going to have like a super duper long episode anyway. Well, we're going to have a normal length episode. Oh, don't, don't misunderstand me. Our episode length will be the same as always, but, you know, stuff. I guess this isn't bad. It's It feels kind of similar to what I'm using already, except now it's got fire aspect, so that's kind of nice. Um, we'll use it for a little while until I get bored of it, slash miss the fact that I can block. This is much scarier without torches. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be really interesting when they change, like, basically the entire combat mechanic in... I was going to say Ragecraft 4, but that's not even true. That's not even, like, the same statement. Oh, a boss person. <laughs> hey, did you hit me with something? Am I weakness? <laughs> Cut down in your prime by your own axe. Well, actually, it's the Dwarf King's axe. It's not your axe, but I'm sure you had a part in making it. Ouch. Don't. Rude. But yeah, it's going to be really interesting when they change it so that you can no longer block with weapons. You have to use the shield. Don't. I don't know how I feel about that. Also, are you still... Oh no, you're still here. Okay. I was about to say, like, did I kill him? Ooh! Eight iron ingots! That's a lot of iron ingots. Hiya. Oh, I'm just going to tear through your wall. Don't worry. Actually, thinking about it, if we're using an axe as a weapon, we have an infinite durability weapon. Hey, a thing. I'm liking all this infinite durability stuff. This is this is kind of nice. Also, I, I apologize if it's kind of dark. My assumptionizer. Ooh, there's a thing down there. I want it. Ha ha! You didn't think I could get up here, did you? But I can. Ha ha ha! I have super jump. Ha ha! 
it's just so nice. It's going to be a shame when I inevitably die and it's going to be taken away from me. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. What's in here? Are you torches? Are you torches at all? None of you are torches. I'm going to have to soup up one of those dwarfin drills here in a little bit, though. Ah, yeah! Ouch! My regen. Yeah, the regen is working stupendously. It's stupendous, one could say. Um, yeah, it's it again. It's like it's basically as I as I kind of was alluding to and then got distracted earlier about is it's doing its job, and I'm not noticing it, which is a testament to how it's doing its job. Is it's just keeping me at full health, like basically the whole time. And I'm not really noticing it all that much because it's subtle, but that's good. Okay. The fact that you're still spawning upsets me. You need to knock it off. Also, just you stop. Okay, spawner, spawner, spawner. Spawner, spawner, spawner. Aha! Uh -huh. um, something else. If we're doing observations. Um, because I've played Ragecraft 2, I kind of know that Helicio doesn't do hidden spawners all that much. I can kind of expect that if there is a spawner that is, you know, not super duper, like, visible right away, then that probably means that there's some sort of indicator somewhere. So a good example of that is, I can't think of one, um, but a good example that I would hypothetically think of um, is that in some cases there were areas where I don't know. The the there was a certain like block type that we could expect like oh if there's this type of block type on the ground, you know, there's probably um something there. I don't know. <laughs> you you get what I mean. You understand what I'm saying. Super jump makes that so easy. It's so great. You're going to die. There we go. Great. Fantastic. And otherwise wunderbar. Um, so yeah, I think we're getting through this area pretty well, thus farly. And you need to go away. If I can get a nicer pick, that would be nice. Or pick. Um, ooh! Making progress, open up things, and slice in the zombie, because he's in my way. Bam, 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 bam. This is probably the teleporter home. Yay! Hey, we did it. We are victorious. That's all I wanted to accomplish. Not really. I just made that up right now. But I think that's actually going to be a good place to stop. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I think we got a good amount accomplished. Also, thank you again for commenting. I love reading all your comments, and I'd love to read more. So feel free to leave more. Also, well, that's, that's it. Just, I hope you're enjoying. I really like reading your stuff. Please give me more. It makes me happy. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and as always, stay tuned for more.